in this room, only 1% of you will become stars and really famous and have a lot of money and forget that you ever met Susan Batson and Carl Ford. <laughs> okay? So if you look at the math in itself, there has to be a real commitment to the passion. And the passion is the, is the easiest thing to commit to, but the hardest thing to follow through with. Okay? Passion motivates us and moves us. It gives us clarity, but it also feels overwhelming. And we are, when we are not rewarded for our passion, we get internal, we blame ourselves, we think there's something wrong with us. And a lot of young artists have this problem, okay? One of the interesting things about Susan's technique is that it comes out of passion. She created it out of working with all these masters that she did when she was 16. Now, she tell, I don't know if she tells this story, but my grandmother told me that when she was eight years old, she would not shut up. They were trying to think of everything to do. Like, let's put her in the closet for a while, let's go talk to herself, let's give her dolls. And my grandmother used to go, nothing worked. So my grandmother had this woman that she used to work with named Elma Lewis, who started one of the first, uh, first black acting theater programs in Boston, and she begged Elma to take her because she said there is nothing that me and my husband can do. <laughs> we can't shut her up. She constantly runs around. She doesn't stay in one place. She doesn't eat. Now, who does this sound like? An actor. <laughs> she doesn't eat. She can't stop talking. She's overly emotional. She's completely narcissistic. This is an actor. So they put her in an acting school, and from there, she has been working. This is now, because we don't know her age. I don't know her age. If anyone <laughs> knows her age on Facebook Live, please shout it out. It would be great to know. Um, so she has been working since, as she says, Zeus created the earth. So since she's been working that long, she had kept her eye very specifically clear on great, great techniques. Great techniques provide clarity to passion. And I think a lot of people get caught studying one technique, thinking that that is gonna be the thing that turns it over, and it never is, it never is. The wonderful element of Susan's technique is it is a combination of a lot of different people. Uta Hagen, Lee Strasberg, Harold Klerman, Herbert Berghoff, uh, Jesus, I, the list goes on and on. So, and of course, Stanford Meisner. When you look at her technique, what it automatically sets up is a demand. A demand for you to show up inside of the character you create. And that demand is why this technique has won Oscars. And it has. There was a period there after Jamie Foxx won the Oscar where almost every person that had come through us, who had worked with us, had been nominated. It scared the hell out of me. Of course, Susan and I are just so stupidly humble. We were like, well, maybe we should go you know, to the Oscars. Might be good to go, you know, show our face there. Uh, yeah, and then, of course, no one invited us. So when we wanted to go, <laughs> no one invited us. You know? But the, what really, to me, the reason why the people that I mentioned that I thanked before use this technique, why it works for a lot of people, and of course, did everyone see A Star is Born? Yeah. With Lady Gaga. Um, why it worked in terms of what the chemistry was between Lady Gaga and, and Brad. Uh, is it Brad? Brad. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Cooper. Yes. <laughs> but it, as it worked between them, is that there's something that is human, not real. A lot of actors think they have to be in a reality, not in a humanity. So what is the big difference between being real and being human? This I open up to you guys.